The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were due to attend the Well Child Awards ceremony in London tonight but have changed their plans to rush to see Harry's 96-year-old grandmother in Scotland. Buckingham Palace shared a rare update just after midday that the Queen is under medical supervision at Balmoral with doctors concerned for her health. A palace spokesperson said, Following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. Harry and Meghan, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, are currently in Britain as part of a trip to Europe this week. A spokesperson for the couple said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be travelling to Scotland. Heir to the throne Prince Charles, Camilla and Princess Anne are already at the Queen's side. Prince William, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward and Sophie are also all heading to Balmoral. It comes after a busy day for the monarch on Tuesday which saw her appoint Liz Truss as Prime Minister at Balmoral after Boris Johnson tendered his resignation. She postponed a virtual Privy Council meeting on Wednesday after being advised by royal doctors to rest. Ms. Truss was informed of the update on the Queen as she unveiled her plan to tackle the energy crisis to MPs in the Commons. The Prime Minister later tweeted, The whole country will be deeply concerned by the news from Buckingham Palace this lunchtime. My thoughts, and the thoughts of people across our United Kingdom, are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time. Well wishes have been taking to social media to share their concern for the monarch. The Archbishop of Canterbury said the prayers of the country were with the head of state. The Most Reverend Justin Welby tweeted, My prayers, and the prayers of people across the at Church of England and the nation, are with Her Majesty the Queen today. May God's presence strengthen and comfort Her Majesty, her family, and those who are caring for her at Balmoral. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said, Along with the rest of the country, I am deeply worried by the news from Buckingham Palace this afternoon. My thoughts are with Her Majesty the Queen and her family at this time, and I join everyone across the United Kingdom in hoping for her recovery. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon and Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford also shared well wishes for the Queen. The Royal Family's website appeared to crash following the news of the nation's longest reigning monarch's health, with an error message reading, Gateway Timeout.